Hello everybody, Chaos and Comics. Um, I'm talking about Resident Evil Infinite Darkness The Beginning. Now, this one's pretty hacky, even for me, to be reading this and picking this up. Um, you know, I don't know why. Uh, can't explain it to you. In fact, as these were coming into the mail, I was like, actually just boxing them. Like, I, I guess I, I, I subscribed to it and um, on Gmart and they're coming in, I was like, ah, maybe I don't want it. But I, I, you know, I bit the bullet and I actually read them. And you know, they're interesting to me for one, because this is, you know, where all of American comics are trying to become manga. This is a, like a manga Tokyo pop, which, which by the way, in like the nineties, early two thousands, that's what, that was like the outlet it felt like for manga and a lot of Japanese culture. But if now Tokyo Pop feels like it's trying to do like a Western comic, except they still call it Tokyo Pop and it's and it's uh, done here. And as as far as I can tell, it's all you know, it's Western comic style. It isn't like they flipped it over or anything like that. So it's in the manga section, but it is a uh, a an American. I shouldn't even say Western. It's an American size because the. Europeans have taste too. Uh, they don't do things this size. Um, so yeah, I, I I love Resident Evil, or at least I did as a kid. And I think that I'm sure that the story has been uh, done in graphic novel versions, like yeah, Resident Evil 1, 2, 3, 4, um, Raccoon City and stuff like that. And uh, I would go read those, but I saw this was starting the beginning, so hey, why not, right? And um, it's a, it's like, I would say the level of a <clears throat> of an okay Kickstarter, uh, you know, a Kickstarter from someone that only is trying to get like a two thousand dollar goal or something like that. But that's not that's just me trying to be nice, you know. I don't know what's going on here, um, and it's very digitally, and that's why that's really where I that's really where I see the Kickstarterness in it. In that, not that people can't draw or do things digital. I don't mind that. But there is a there's like a, a hacky nature with some uh, with with some artist early on. I shouldn't even say that they're hacks. Like what the hell do I know? But I see like a I see like a you know it's before they've been able to figure out their style and do something different with all the tools available in whatever um, uh, digital program they're using. And you know what? It's a lot like. And I'm guilty of it, or I'm not guilty of it. I'm not guilty. I'm not apologizing for this shit. But it's when I see like some chat GBT um, produce stuff, right? And uh, and I'm okay with it because where I use it is for all this all this bullshit on YouTube because I don't want to market. Um, but creatively, you want to see a little bit of growth. This first issue is a little bit boring because it was you know there aren't that many zombies, isn't that many killings here. Um, Oh yeah, this poor guy. Um, and uh, and it doesn't really link to the video games, at least as far as I knew them. Because uh, Leon Kennedy is like a detective or something like that. On top of that too, there is, you know, the outbreak didn't spread uh, across the world. So Leon knows about the T-virus and stuff. And he's in Pittsburgh now and they're trying to stop it. And uh, so it's, it's an issue number one. So we get the zombie at the very end. Uh, it's gonna at the coroner's office. We get a little um, bonus content here, you know, and you could see uh, the storyboards. They call them storyboards, so maybe you know, normally we would say thumbnails or something, right? So I don't know who who did this. So someone actually did do this in pencil. This doesn't look too digital to me, right? And then they decide to do, um, and then they go in and color it on this side. Is it even bad? Uh, there's even bad. English in here, so you could tell it's. You could tell Tokyo Pop is like experimenting with with us here. Um, got a little glare. So, and here there's an example of a color test for a zombie, and it says this was actually used on the cover. So this, so the zombie was created differently, and then you know you they they sort of have to put it all together. There it is, right there. Um, so same here, same thing here. We get a few more, get a few more zombies, but it still has the same bit of glaze over it um which is not good or bad i actually like this page so this is like this example on this page is like is where to me i see the hacky sort of digital work sort of work and um where i don't mind it as much now i don't think this is like 
this great cartooning or anything like that, but um, the zombies actually look cool. And I get it, you need to churn out a monthly book. That's the most important thing, right? That's more important than, you know, if you want to do your, um, your, uh, your greatest artwork ever, you're trying to do something super artsy, then yeah, you, you want to be a little bit more creative. But if you're trying to churn out a book and it's trying to churn it out monthly and stuff, things like this is, I think, where digital uh, works the best because a lot of this is already rendered. It's easy to, to color it and it's easy to, um, it's easy to make a big page like this or make some of these backgrounds and stuff. So, I mean, there's, there's good parts of it. And if it needs to be anywhere, it's in a Resident Evil book, I guess. Right. So we get a uh, Leon coming here, headshots. People don't know how to, how to fight him. Apparently there was a secret. So I don't know how Leon, maybe this is like a, uh, I guess Resident Evil 4 is where Leon was in that village. So maybe this is a, maybe it's from, I don't even know what part of the continuity it is. This is not the Leon I'm used to. Well, I guess he's a, like sort of a cop too, you know, but, um, here we go. And, uh, this was probably the most intriguing part, not necessarily art wise, but there is a, these people, it isn't like a government conspiracy, at least not yet. It might be down the road, but these people are some kind of like religious zealots and stuff, uh, were the ones that initially set off that bomb of the not great drawing in the first issue. So, Hey, this is hacky even for me. I know even for me, but, uh, I, I subscribed to them. I wanted to see what was going on. I think most interesting to me is actually the fact that it's Tokyo pop and maybe they've done this in the past. And I haven't noticed trying to produce a Western comic when it seems like, or an American style comic when it seems like all the Americans are trying to do the manga stuff. I mean, DC just came out with that Joker book and the Superman eats lunch book and stuff like that. So anyway, Resident Evil, the beginning number one and two, we'll see. Well, maybe we'll get the, maybe I'll continue with it. I don't know if I, I quit uh, ordering it or not. If they come in, I'll read them and we'll talk about them. Thanks for watching.